everything you need to know about fun days and the box of fun. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Couple side toys and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel along, we hunt together. Yes. Okay, it might not be everything you need to know at this point in time, but we will continue to follow up as soon as new information does come out. But we're here to tell you everything that we do know about Fun Days and the Box of Fun so far. If you don't know what Funko Fun Days is, it's basically the biggest party Funko ever puts on. They do a bunch of giveaways there, there's a bunch of games that go on, a lot of entertainment, a lot of food, and a lot of fun. Fun company. Today, Heather and I tried our shot at getting some tickets to go to Fun Days, and guess what happened? We got f Not in the good way. It was horrible. They sold out in like two seconds. Hopefully, one day, Heather and I will be able to go to the event, but for now, we're going to rely on the box of fun. If you don't know what the box of fun is, this it's is- It's a box of fun! Exactly, but it's a box of fun which is full of Funko Pops and other various items and now they're doing an at-home edition. It used to be they only had them at Fun Days, but now they have them at home too. That's pretty awesome! Starting in 2018, they've had a box every single year with the exception of 2020 because, well, we all know. Funko Fun Days is where you get your high value grails. So if you go to Fun Days, typically you're going to see some celebrities there. Of course, you're going to see Mike Becker and you're going to see Brian Mariotti, the two head dudes for Funko when it comes to all things entertainment. Which is really, really cool. You get to like go to a party filled with awesome celebrities. Except this year, unfortunately, the Gasocast won't be there, so. Yeah. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. This sucks! I know. I f hate everything! I hate my life! We literally typed in that password so fast and we saw the get tickets button and we were like, oh my god, we're in! And then it sold out. F what was really cool and what I hope they do again during 2018's fun days, they actually televised it online. So you can actually watch the Fun Days event from your own home. And I thought that was awesome, but they haven't released any information if they're doing it or not. So let's hope that they do because it is really fun to watch it from home and to see what's going on there. Yeah. And what happens is when you watch it, you really wish that you were there and you're super duper jealous. However, it motivates you to hopefully try and be faster next year. It also makes you want to punch yourself in the face until your teeth come out. Fun Days falls on the second day of the con, which is Friday, July 22nd. So we're assuming that that's when the box of fun goes up for sale for those of us at home, which will be us. We're not going to Fun Days. Last year, if we're remembering correctly, it was released like a week or so before or a few days before the event. Yeah. Because it, the event was virtual. Yeah, and it was based on a lottery system. The years before that, it wasn't based on a lottery system. It popped up on Funko Shop and it was whoever was the fastest to get it was the fastest to get it. Most likely because there is a fun days in place, it won't take place a week before or anything like that. I think it will take place the night of fun days. Everybody will have their chance then. You have to stay up late. You have to hope that the link pops up and then you buy it. We don't know that because it hasn't been confirmed. We will have more information once Funko releases it. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the little bell so you have the most up-to-date information, not only on the box of fun and fun days, but of the SCC sale. So they're sticking with the team thing that they did last year. And if you weren't collecting at the time or you have no idea about what the box of fun was, basically each person selected a team to be on and you got a Funko Pop associated with that team and a bunch of party favor sort of things related to that team. For example, we picked Proto Punks and Proto Punks came with this little guy who looked like a punk rock skull, which was awesome. Awesome. All of the merchandise that came with it were pink and black. For example, we got these little blow up sticks that people like wave around during fun days. Bang against each other. Oh, they bang. Thunder sticks. Yeah, they, thunder sticks. They bang. And you got a bandana. They bang. 
That's a thunder stick. Okay. I don't think we need to show what a thunder stick is. And we got a pink and black bandana, and I think we got pom-poms too. It was crazy. It was really, really cool. Basically, what the actual box of fun is, is it's a box filled with three different Funko Pops, and typically they're different variants specific to these boxes, and there's a lot of Freddy Funkos included. They also have that mascot in there, but it's mainly about Freddy Funko. And they all have some sort of limited stickers. Some are higher like 5,000 counts and some are lower like 3,000 counts. The prediction last year was that depending on which team you picked determined your box of fun and what you got inside. However, upon receiving them, we learned that that was not the case at all. Basically, Funko just sent you what they sent you. They sent you a completely random box of fun and it didn't matter what team you were on. Everybody had a chance at everything. So last year, the most limited items that you could get were 1,000 counts and one that actually stands out for me is the Skull Trooper from Fortnite. Because we collect all things Skulls, so he was one that we were really hoping to get, even though we don't know the first thing about Fortnite. We ended up not getting him, but we got a Freddy Funko as Freddy Mercury, which was really cool. So they released versions of the characters, like there was a Skull Trooper that wasn't Glow in the Dark that was a higher limited account, then there was a Glow in the Dark version that was a lower limited account. Almost think of it like they were chases. Yeah, similar to that. The really cool thing about last Last year is that there was a vignette that Funko released that had like games and things that each of those mascots were playing. But it was really cool to watch because basically they had the mascots. They literally had people in costumes doing certain games and it was live and they were interacting with the chat and while you were in the chat you could win things which was really really neat. It was like they brought fun days home except a much lower budget fun days. <laughs> The boxes are a little bit on the expensive side. If I remember correctly, they're around 100 bucks. And I believe they'll be the same this year because I believe the first ones were around 50 or 60. But they didn't come with the team stuff because the team stuff was a completely separate box. You got the box of fun separately. In the team box, you actually got the team stuff. You got the Torchy mascot. You got Brian Mariotti and Mike Becker as Funko Pops as well. There was also a cowboy looking guy, a tornado, and a knight. Yeah, so there was all sorts of different characters you could choose from, and it looks to be the same thing this year. Yes, except this year, black light themed, baby. People are gonna go nuts! So the teams this year, Pop Protectors, Proto Robos, Killer Crowns, and Black Light Bandits. By looking at this, Black Light Bandit looks like a raccoon. Killer Crowns looks like a clown with a crown on. Proto Robos, of course, is gonna be a robot. And then Pop Protectors looks like it might be some sort of knight yes. or something in like armor. So the art of the box actually looks really cool based on what Funko has shared. It says Fun Days Pops, you get one pop mascot, Fun Day Mystery Box, three pop limited piece exclusive. Exclusives. Now, I wonder if they're going to give you the team swag this year as well. Well, it makes no mention of that. It just mentions the one pop mascot. Now, this box only has three Funko Pops in it, so it could be a separate box entirely with yeah. the team swag as we saw last year. But who knows? Right now, this is literally all we have from Funko. Exactly. And the team swag we received was because they were doing fun days online last year. They didn't do the in-person event, which means we got the cheerleading stuff so we could cheer along for our teams. Absolutely, and that was a lot of fun. Whether or not they do that this year, we don't know. So a prime example of one of the pieces from last year was this Marty McFly as Freddy Funko, Box of Fun 2000 piece exclusive. He's on the hoverboard, this is a great Funko Pop, but this is the type of pieces that you can expect from the Box of Fun. Yeah, and you can also expect pieces like Freddy Funko as a tennis player from the Olympic theme box last year. Oh yeah, then there was like an art series one. Quite a few art series. <sighs> one was literally brown, it looked like sh but the good thing is, is that you can obtain Funko Pops just like this one. And by the way, I only protect this guy one way, Heather. And that's with a Pop Shield Armor from Seven Bucks a Pop. And as you can see, it has a magnetic top that goes on and off really easy. You can also slide your Funko Pops out of this thing really simply and then put them right back in safely. Do you know what the Seven Bucks a Pop Pop Shield Armor does that a Funko hard stack does not do? Protect your Funko Pop? Protect your Funko Pop. Oh my God, what are you? doing? Showing you it protects it. Okay. A Funko branded hard stack would have cracked. I think I might have cracked our table, but at least your pop <laughs> was job. protected. 
God. So the at home box of fun is really awesome. We highly recommend picking them up if you can. And they're like a mystery box. You open them up, you don't know what's going to be inside. It could be a Freddy as Marty from Back to the Future. It could be a Freddy as Pennywise. You never know what you're going to get. And hopefully this year, they have some major fire. But I do want to tell you this. Fun Days is where you're going to get the super limited Funko Pops. So don't expect 200 piece counts coming out of this mystery box. But there are a ton of pops typically in the box of fun that you can receive and it's so exciting when you receive yours to see what you have. What we like to do is get with a group of friends and say I'm looking for this, 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 and this once we actually know what's in the boxes of fun and we like to do a lot of trades with our friends to try to obtain what we want. So it's good to have friends with different interests in you. For example, we are very lucky to have a lot of friends who like <laughs> Because if they get something that's not anime that we're into, and we get something that could be anime related, assuming they have an anime Freddy this year, I don't know, but we could do a trade! I like to call them tradesies. Every year we also do an unboxing right here on the channel with all of our friends to see what's inside. So look out for that in the near future when those boxes finally drop. Assuming that we actually get a box of fun because... It's true. People like them. It's a tough game. It is a tough game. And with this being black light this year, I have the feeling that a lot of people are gonna be into it. Let me just get you ready for the box of fun. Now, you gotta get those fingers ready. You gotta get those hands moved. That tongue doesn't need, let me stick that back in. You don't need that, but I need you to get ready because if you don't get a box of fun, I'm gonna be pissed. So you better work really hard to get one because if I miss out, Heather, I'm breaking those glasses. Why would you do that? Because I don't want you to see anymore. All right, so let's make this simple. If you got Fun Days tickets, have fun. You're going to have a real big blast. If you don't have Fun Days tickets, look forward to SDCC when Funko drops the box of fun at home. It's going to be a blast. Buy the box if you can buy it. If you can't buy it, well, that sucks. Start saving now. Start an OnlyFans if you need to. Whoa, I don't know if we should tell our audience to start an OnlyFans. Why? Some because people I don't, know don't if that's the right have thing to do. $100 to drop on pops at one time. You can make a lot of money on OnlyFans. People love feet. You don't even have to get naked. I know, but... You just... You know what you do? Pull your socks off. You smell cheese? Do this. Ugh. But if you don't get it, don't go around boohooing all over the internet. Actually, we do, and we would love to read salty comments of people who don't receive it because, well, that's just what we do. You know, I get really sad for people who miss things that they really want, but when people are outrageous, that is entertainment. That's how this channel survives, Heather. I'm burning my whole collection! That's my favorite kind of comment, and a lot of people do that. I'm done with Funko! Done! I am telling all my friends to never buy any Funko products again! Fire everybody at Funko! F them! F Funko, f their mama, and f their entire clique! I don't have a butt, so I'm mad at everything! Yeah, you don't, you don't have a butt. I just have a back that turns into more back with a crack in it. So like we said earlier, make sure you subscribe to this channel, tune in closer to SCCC, and not only will we give you the most up-to-date information, but we plan on putting out a video to help you obtain your most sought after Funko Pop exclusives to SCCC. Heather has some real magic that'll help you buy all those SDCC Funko Pops, so don't miss out. Tune into this channel. You're gonna wanna know all the secrets. Heather's got some real secrets, but one thing that's not secret is that when she takes her socks off, it smells like cheese. I love cheese. Wash your feet! I did, but that's how I stirred the macaroni and cheese earlier. <laughs> Are you new to the Boxes of Fun or are you a veteran? Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below and let us know what Freddy Funko would you like to see the most this year. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to The Marvelous Collector, Danny Allen, Zach Bonifer, Terry Jackson, Cliff Demzik, Cody Pace and Laura Maxey, Lindsay Weintraub, Nick Mastromico, Mad Duck, and Nick. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons for Patreon. You guys rock. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.